All right, I don't know how much Michigan fans want to talk about this or hear about this, but all that anyone else wanted to talk about with regard to Michigan was the scandals, the accusations, the NCAA, the violations, the cheating, all of that stuff. So we are going to talk about it just very briefly today. What, what do you expect to come out of, or do you expect anything to come out of what everybody was whining about all year with Michigan yeah. last year from the NCAA? I, I, I don't know, because the NCAA is not really a functional organization. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's, it's like, how mad are they at us? And I, my thought process, based off of what happened with Cheeseburger Gate in the end, is that they just gave Michigan a slap on the wrist and then turned around and were like, but we're going to get Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. And I think that's kind of what it was all along, right? Like, you know, the, they normally, when a rival reports a rival, they're not really going to pay attention to it much, right? Like if FSU says, here's what Miami's doing, they're going to be like, well, we know what Miami's doing. We're not going to take your <laughs> word for it. So, like, why did they take Ohio State's word for it all of a sudden, right? Like, that, there was something going on, and the easiest thing to go to point at is Jim Harbaugh was always tweaking their noses and always making them mad, and then, like, his lawyer would go on and rip them a new uh, on Twitter and whatnot, right? Like, he was, they were not fans of Jim Harbaugh. They did sure. not like that guy. And the way they pursued the whole Burger Gate was very, like, okay, we're going to get this Jim Harbaugh guy, not we actually care that, you know, Michigan was buying some kids cheeseburgers and having kids on campus during the, during COVID and whatnot, right? Like, they, and the, the, it was not just that. Michigan was guilty for some things, but it was the kind of things that, like, there's, there's, you report 60-second day violations a year, and then it goes away, right? The it, it felt like it was personal. So my guess is that now that it's over, and Michigan beat all those teams anyway, and the Charlie Baker already came out and said, hey, you know, Michigan won fair and square. There's, there's nothing left except for, like, the message board idiots who just <laughs> want to, like, imagine there's some reason. And go ahead. Please, please, I want you to believe that this is the reason that your team lost. Because then you won't change the real reasons why your team lost. Right? That, that's, that's what I want people saying. And it's, it makes it very easy to be able to say, okay, well, if someone's talking about that. I don't need to ever hear what that guy has to say about anything ever again. Because he's obviously incapable of forming an intelligent opinion and anyone who's actually talking about sports will be like yeah man everyone steals each other's signs Ohio State and Michigan signs everyone's got each other's signs and as far as the rule broken itself um, I don't think that they have any connection to the coaching staff right like there was one coach who you know told them hey if the NCAA talks to you don't say this unless you know it and then he had to get fired for saying that. Like, that's the level we're at right now. So I think that they're, they're going through it with a fine-tuned comb. They want to find something. The NCAA is going to want to have some sort of scalp. But my guess is they're mostly going to want to punish Jim Harbaugh, and Michigan is going to be fine throwing him under the bus because he left. Yeah. So, you know, you're an organization. That's what you do. And I, I don't really expect anything to come of it. You know, you might see – a. You, you might see a report one day where it's like, you know, Michigan accepts these violations occurred and they're going to have this much suspension and this much whatever, and it's going to be nothing. Yeah. In the grand scheme of, of how, you know, you, you, you lose a few scholarships. Well, you've got an IL now that can take right. care of it. <laughs> right. We, we, oh, scholarship right. penalties. Um, right. <laughs> the only thing that I could see, like you said, they're trying, I think they're trying to go kind of fine tooth comb because they can't penalize NIL anything. So, like, they got to penalize something. They want to get somebody, right? Yeah. yeah. They, there's, <laughs> yeah. They, they can't penalize any NIL stuff anymore as they've been kind of neutered from that. So, we'll see. But I, okay. So, the, the image that everybody talks about the most, how big of a deal was the Connor Stallions thing? I mean, it was just like and all that. I mean, as far as Michigan fans were concerned, we're like, that's it. Because like Ohio <laughs> State fans or Ohio State reported it. So they had the information already. And like Ohio State boards were already like telling us like, hey, something big's coming down the pipeline. Guess what, guys? Here it comes. And then so when it comes, it's like, that's it. Like, that's what you got, man. You got, like, you know, some low-level weird staffer who sells vacuums uh, is, <laughs> like, that's, 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 the, that's the scandal? Smoking gun. Uh, right. Like, the smoking gun. Like, oh, he was, you know, getting people to, uh, you know, we, I mean, he was our science guy, right? Everyone's got a science guy. The funniest part about this whole thing, and I, I don't know what's going to come of it still, but Central Michigan had him on the sideline, right? Like, we all saw the picture of kind of yeah. stallions. And, and, like, 
I mean, what's the most likely scenario there? No one's really talking about is like, did Central Michigan borrow Michigan Science Guy when they played Michigan State? <laughs> like, that's that sounds like a bigger scandal to me than any of this, right? Like, how how come we're not talking about that that like weirdness? And like, if Michigan like lent them their guy, that'd be weird too, right? Like, yeah. that's 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 the one thing where I think Michigan State fans should be like really upset. <laughs> I yeah. mean, they didn't lose to them, but like. You know, you have Michigan Science Guy out there. But that's what it was. It was Michigan Science Guy. You guys have a Science Guy. Ohio State's got two Science Guys. Everyone's got a Science Guy. What did our Science Guy do? He was paying people to take, you know, video. Now, if you break out from film, I get film all the time. I could have done that too, right? There's not, it's not hard to get film of coaches giving signs and then see what the play was. Yeah. And everyone does it and everyone's got it. So it's not like new information or anything like that. That was... That was big for people who don't understand the game, who aren't really told anything about the game, because the people who talk about the game don't really get into that kind of thing. Right. But, I mean, that was what everyone knew the reality was, and that's what we knew the reality was. So it was more interesting that, like, okay, now we have to function inside the NCAA crap, and we're not like, okay, here we go. Now we're going to have to hear it from idiots who are already well-known as idiots. Um. I want to get your thoughts on kind of where, where this is as you know, from the program perspective, but first, where can people follow you and, and find your work? So, uh, mgoblog.com is our site and we have a podcast, we have a book, we have a big, uh, you know, 2023 national championship book that we just put out with Kickstarter just ended. Uh, so go to mgoblog.com. You'll find all that stuff there. And then I'm also on Twitter at Misopagon. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. It's a reference to a Roman emperor, and I've been using it since the days when we all had internet names. <laughs> um, does the program care about this at all? Like, is it like, do they use it like as a, everybody hates us? Like, you know, hunker down? Like, or everyone's hate. Really I mean, care? there's not, Michigan does not have any trouble filling the hate bucket. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right, we haven't had that's never that's never been an issue at Michigan. Like our our arrogance is enough. Our, we were arrogant before we won a national championship. Like now we're going to be awful. So I, Michigan's never really had an issue with that. I think that it, they are serious about it. That it's like okay, we're not going to mess around. Like when they fired Chris Partridge, that was a beloved coach, and you know his crime, his violation was like very minor, but it could possibly be construed as trying to affect the investigation, and we're not having any of it. Sure. So I think what it's done, and this needed to change regardless of Harbaugh, there were problems with how they hired their secondary staff. You know, these big universities, and Michigan's not the only one, but like the, the major schools, one of the ways that they've been trying to get ahead is they just hire all these staff for like, you know, recruiting positions and whatnot, and the unregulated spots. And there was not a lot of oversight. I think Jim Harbaugh failed in this and probably deserved to be punished a little bit so he would fix this problem that he was not paying attention to the guys they brought in. So who's Connor Stallions? He's the son of like a donor, right? And like they were just hiring these guys without really checking their backgrounds or out figuring out whether or not this guy could be a potential problem. It's not the only time they hired a guy like that that had problems. They had problems with their own assistants, right? One guy's still under investigation by the FBI. They had to fire Matt Weiss for, um, you know, breaking into computers, which is not... I don't know that people want to tie that to everything else, but right. like it's, I it, as far as I know, it had to do with sports gambling. But like the, it's it, that's the kind of thing. Like you have to have a little bit more control and and know a little bit more. And you've seen that with Michigan because when they hired this new staff, that the you know a lot of the new guys they hired, it was announced in the on Twitter and whatnot, and then we waited weeks until the school officially announced it. What were they doing in those weeks? Background checks. And that's going to be a thing going forward. Sure. So when you talk about the seriousness of it, from a fandom perspective, it's like, okay, now I just know who not to pay attention to if they're talking about it, right? But the program itself, I think that they take who they're hiring a lot more seriously. I think they're, they take security inside the, the program a lot more seriously because it started with a leak to someone who got to Ohio State. So I think that's the kind of things that they're paying attention to. Big picture, I chatted with Seth about where this program is headed. If you want to check that video out, click on the screen right now.